Now, this party congress differs from the previous four party congress in post Deng era in two important ways. First, Xi Jinping's consolidation of power and his strong leadership has largely replaced the previous practice in terms of coexistence of two competing coalitions, one led by Jiang Zemin and the other led by Hu Jintao, or the so-called collective leadership. Secondly, some of the norms and the rules of elite recruitment established in the post Deng era, such as the mandatory retirement age and the term limit, will not be strictly applied this time. Now, these norms and the rules have imparted a sense of con consistency and the fairness uh, in the past uh, two decades. Now, the absence of these norms and rules may cause serious resentment and resistance. In the Power Bureau Standing Committee, for example, only Xi Jinping will surely stay, and uh, only Li Zhansu, the oldest uh, member, will surely leave although Li Zhansu may become, you know, the vice president of PRC. Now, the age span of the other five members is only three years. There are no objective criteria to determine who will stay and who will leave. Now, under the current circumstances, I believe Xi Jinping, um, his call for unity of the leadership, stability of the country, and the continuity of market reform reflects his countermeasure to these kind of challenges. For the unity of the leadership, his, his call is very much in line with the fact that in his second term, only three members of the 376 member central committee were purged, compared with as many as 43 members who were arrested on corruption charges during his first term. So the second term, just the past five years, only three members were purged. But the, his first term, 43 members, these are very, very important uh, high-level, uh, high-ranking officials, 43 members of Central Committee were purged in the first term. Now, more specifically, the leadership lineup formed at the upcoming party congress may reflect uh, considerations or objectives on part of Xi Jinping. Let me very quickly mention this. Number one. While loyalty to Xi Jinping explains many promotions, Xi Jinping will likely allow some leaders from other factions or without factional identities to obtain seats in the Power Bureau and also Power Bureau Standing Committee to sustain the leadership of unity. Hu Tenhua, um, a protege of Hu, Hu Jintao, will likely obtain a Power Bureau Standing Committee seat. Number two, Xi Jinping will work to justify why a very small number of leaders who were born in the middle 1950s uh, will remain in the top echelon of the leadership 